We couldn't have built Mortar Data without AWS. My name is Kay Young. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Mortar Data. We raised a seed round of funding last year in February in 2012. And at that point, we raised $1.8 million. Had we not been on AWS, then we would have needed to raise 7.1 million, an additional 4 million for capital expenses and 1.3 for operational. At a state that our company was at at that early time, there would have been really no way that we could have raised $7.1 million. We needed to prove more. So AWS allowed us to get off the ground in the first place. Mortar is kind of two things. On the one hand, it's an open source framework for processing data. And on the other, it's a platform as a service that's powered by Hadoop that runs exclusively on AWS. What we do is we make Hadoop very easy to use, but we put that really in the background. Hadoop is finally an ends to a mean. It's a way to execute things at scale. We put forward the tools that engineers and data scientists want to use. So a higher level language called Pig, which is a lot like SQL, but it's procedural, and Java and Python. And our customers use these languages to express the work as they normally would, work locally on their own machine, have automated testing, be able to iterate very quickly despite the fact that they're working with large data sets. And then when they're ready, deploy to the cloud, deploy to mortar so that they can execute at scale. We use Elastic Load Balancer or ELB to handle incoming traffic. We use EC2 to run our web servers. And we have S3 where we store code and we store example data. We use EC2 running MongoDB to store machine events and we use SQS for our distributed calls. We're using EC2 to manage and monitor Hadoop clusters. We use SES for uh, notifying our users with email. And we launch Hadoop clusters on a mix of EC2 and Elastic MapReduce. Our users are actually storing their data in S3 or EC2, for example, again, MongoDB or other stores. And soon they'll also be able to store their data in Dynamo and Redshift and, and integrate with Mortar. Our model requires that we will be able to provision many hundreds, thousand machines simultaneously. And the the demand that we have is variable. It's highly variable depending on what our customers need at any given moment. If we were going to try to get a startup off the ground, racking and bringing online all those machines uh, in advance of knowing whether we really had a product that people needed, it would have been far too expensive. It would have taken far too long. It really would have never gone anywhere. But because we were able to build on top of AWS, we could build a proof of concept and build it so that it could scale. And then as customers come, we can just add them, add them, add them without any upfront cost. So it's fantastic that Amazon Web Services continues to innovate and invent in a way that very few big companies especially in the technology space, are able to do. On top of that, the fact that they continue to lower their prices makes it a very comfortable place to have your business.